Jai Brown here, also the host of the First Class Ticket. To get all your sports and basketball content, subscribe to MSW TV Sports Filipinas. And for more basketball content, subscribe to me at Ajay Brown. And enjoy. Last year in 2019, you debuted in the Turkish EuroLeague and became the youngest player ever to do it at 15 years and 157 days. Tell me, what was going through your head the moment you stepped yeah. onto the court? Yeah, I was I was kind of like sticking with the first team back then, like not usually, but like every like fifth day I would come and practice. And when there's some games that are not so important in the Montenegro League or so, they would give me a chance, you know. My uh, coach, great coach, Jasmin Repesha, was uh, was uh, first coach at the moment then, and uh, I think someone got injured or something happened, and then I was. Uh, Adidas at least then, and, uh, and uh, I think the EuroLeague back then was under Adidas sponsorship. I don't know what was what was the thing, but they said like uh, they need to bring you along because if you get in, you'll be like, the youngest player who ever played in the EuroLeague. And I was like shocked, you know. I didn't, I like that was uh, we were just talking, you know, not like we are gonna do something, you know. And like next few days, I finished my practice. I was like, I was. I was junior then, I think, maybe even younger. And then I got message like, you are going with the team to play against the Rogiris and maybe you're gonna get some minutes. Was like, wow, like, this is crazy. And even when I got there, I was like, no, there is no chance that they're gonna give me some minutes, you know? And then the coach asked me, Repesha, like, one minute ago, like, one, one thirty or something like that, he said, like, Kido, get in. And then I was like, I was scared as hell, but like the feeling, the fans, like cheering and stuff, it, it was crazy. Like it was, it was the best feeling I've ever felt for me, you know, the, you know, the best moment of my life for sure. So I hope it just, you know, I, I'll remember it forever for sure. Everything happened so fast. Yeah, everything, like everything was like, you know, it's, it was not planned. I was not expecting it. It was like, boom. And I was like the youngest player of the EuroLeague, you know. But it, it, it didn't hit me like that. Like I was the youngest player. It just motivated me like to work even harder, you know, to be more, uh, to be more focused, you know, like, yeah, I, I've accomplished that, but I, I got a lot more things to do, you know, to get on that level and, and actually play with those guys. Not just be like getting a minute and a half till the end, you know, like actually play with them and that my team actually can count on me. You would say your coach helped mostly with your improvement? Uh, yeah, we, we are together like since I was uh, seven years old and I was jumping. The, there, there is a lot of like basketball academies here. Like, what? what's in, his name? Uh, uh, Milan. Milan Angelic. That, Milan that's, Angelic. that's his name. Yeah, that's his name. And he, I was like training football, you know, tennis. I was, I was trying out all the things. You know, my father was a skier, so I, I tried skiing. Didn't like it because it's just winter sport. You know, can't train it all the time. So I tried basketball, and I, I like it right away. You know, and he said like, this kid got potential. I want to take him under my wing. So I went from one, one academy to another, and he was like following me wherever I go and uh, when I had my first contract with Luchan Slowly I said like I want this man to be like next to me you know to like see what I'm doing and like be there and to this day we are still together so that's that's one great story you know he's not going anywhere anytime soon no right? no no no, no. <laughs> so you, when you come to America you bring him too yeah, last time he couldn't go, but like when I was in, uh, I was uh, in Real Madrid, like tournaments, Spain, uh, Barcelona, and stuff. When I was on tryouts, he was always there. He was always there because they always ask like, "Who's the man behind this kid?" And I was like, "That's him. That's him. You know, right. that's him." There he is, right uh, there. When was the first time you went up against an American when you were playing in the Euro League? Uh, the first time I, I played against America was uh, ABA League the first time, or maybe even Montenegro oh. League, because I, as I said, Montenegro League is is is, uh, is stronger than it has ever been, you know. And so, so, with that pressure, what was the biggest thing you heard someone say to you? 
for me over there. Well, I, I, I don't kind of feel no pressure before the game. Like I never, I never like tend to, to, to uh, like stress about those things. You know, like they are not playing, I am. So there is no point in like that, like me stressing about it. Mention Luka Doncic a lot. Would you say Maybe. he's your favorite player, or do you have someone else? Yeah. yeah. Growing up and even now, he's one of uh, he's one of uh, my like main uh, inspirations. You know, when I was young, uh, I was like 13 or 14 when Luca started bowling. You know, in Real Madrid, and I was kind of watching the Euroleague, like not knowing really who he is. Then one day, because we had the same agent, you know, I got a message from him, from Luca Doncic himself, saying like, "Hey, kiddo, I heard you are great. Like, keep going, keep grinding." And I still, to this day, like can't believe that happened. And uh, back then, I, I wasn't really, you know, I didn't know, like I was 14 years old, like, you know, didn't, didn't know that it would turn out this way. But like, since then, he was one of my bigger inspirations, you know, and, and one of my idols, for sure. The, the, the professionals in America and the professionals all the way from Europe, like it can be compared, like, the practice methods and stuff, I, 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 I can say because I was there to experience it. I was there to experience the European methods and the, the, the USA methods. And like I improved, I like I trained here in Europe for like seven, eight years straight for like no, five years. And then I went to America like two times. And I can say, bro, for those two times, I improved more than the whole five like combined because all the stuff there, the, the the medical stuff, the conditioning stuff, taking care of my body, you know, the basketball coaches and stuff. It was it was on such a high level that I was like impressed to be like I didn't I. I... be mentally like strong you know that comes first and he gotta be prepared because our like Balkan and this region of ours it, it's not easy to handle you know it's not easy mentally to handle because everyone expects a lot of you you know and when you play good you're the best when you play bad you're the worst and that's always gonna be like that so the first thing I would say to him is like never never get down you know keep your head up and and, and just and just play, you know, enjoy the game because people forget uh, about that part a lot of the times, you know. You just gotta enjoy the game because if you are not enjoying it, then why are you playing, you know? It's beautiful play. So yan muna sa ngayon mga bro at muli maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. Mabuhay and God bless.